वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल मैकेनिकल मैजिक मैकेनिकल लर्निंग ट्यूटोरियल्स सो बेसिकली इन दिस वीडियो आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट रैंक एंड साइकल सो बेसिकली इट इज डिफिकल्टीज टू पंप अ मिक्सर ऑफ वेपर एंड लिक्विड एज इन केस ऑफ कार नट वेपर साइकल बट दिस डिफिकल्टीज इट विल बी ओवरकम इन द केस ऑफ रैंक एंड साइकल सो जनरली इन रैंक एंड साइकल अ कंप्लीट condensation of vapor in condenser and then that will be pumping the water isentropically to the boiler at boiler pressure so let us see the line diagram of the rankine cycles so starting with the boiler you can say heat supplied into the boiler so here it will be the simple of boiler so where heat is being supply that will be qs so from that that will be the point number 1 so with the application of boiler high pressurized high temperature super saturated dry steam it will be developed and that will be passing into a mechanical device or you can say here that will be the turbine so that steam it will be used by the turbine and that will be rotated to some work done that will be from the turbine so that will be w t so after that work done from the turbine the rest of the heat it will be rejected to the condenser over here condenser so here in condenser heat rejected and that will be qr so all the that steam once again it will be converting into the water particles and that water once again by the application of pump or you can say fed pump so that will be increasing the pressure up to the boiler pressure or you can say more than boiler pressure and that will be introducing into the boiler so one two over here three and four so for the pump some work is required so that will be called as a pump work so call as a flow diagram of rankine cycle right now that should be plotted onto the pv diagram over here so for this i would like to draw pressure volume over here so this you can see over here so 4 to 1 process high pressure so p4 that will be equal to p1 so that p4 that will be h u by the feed pump so high pressure two point you can say here it will be the a point b point to one that will be called as a 
boiler chapter 1 point that will be expansion so turbine so once again at constant pressure you can say into condenser P3 equal to P2 and with the application of feed pump the pressure it will be increasing so that will be the PV diagram for the Rankine cycle so let us see the different processes so for the process 1 to 2 over here so that will be so high pressure high temperature superheated steam generated into the boiler over here at P1 and T1 and supplied to the turbine so from this so steam is expand isentropically into the turbine up to the condensation pressure so that will be representing as a isentropic expansion to the condensation pressure so that steam it will be developing some kind of mechanical work and that will be representing over as a WT so process 2 to 3 the exhaust steam is from turbine enters into the condenser over here so that will be 2 to 3 process so the heat rejected by exhaust steam and that will be QR so from here then process 3 to 4 condense the water coming from the condenser is pumped to the boiler at a pressure with the help of the pump so some kind of work is done onto the pump so that will be called as a WP so that will be onto the pump so that really consumes the energy and last process 4 to 1 the water is heated at constant pressure P1 over here in the boiler until saturation temperature is read so by the heating process 4 to 8 that process and after the saturated water converts into the saturated steam at constant pressure so that A to B process over here that will be making a saturated steam and B to 1 that will be in the phase of superheated so with the application of superheated or you can say boiler accessories so that steam it will be superheated so that will be the dry condition of the steam okay, in cycle so here the heat supplied in boiler and that will be QS so QS that will be equal to H1 minus H4 from the PV diagram over here and work develop by turbine and that will be WT so finally WT that will be equal to H1 minus H2 and heat rejected in condenser that will be QR so QR that will be equal to H2 minus H3 so that will be number 1 number 2 and number 3 and last work 
supply to fed pump that will be w in p so w p equal to h4 minus h3 so that will be the fourth number so from this all data from heat supplied and work done heat rejections and work supply on to the feed pump here net work output so w net that will be equal to w turbine minus w p so finally equation 2 and 4 is being used over here so h1 minus h2 minus h4 minus h3 so that will be the total net work so the important part efficiency net work output divided by QS so as from the previous equations net work output so that will be over here h1 minus h2 minus h4 minus h3 and heat supply so that will be h1 minus h4 so rearrange h1 minus h4 minus h2 minus h3 and divided by h1 minus h4 so from here efficiency equal to 1 minus h2 minus h3 divided by h1 minus h4 so generally that will be the equations so from here sometimes pump work is very small so due to that it will be neglected so finally efficiency of Rankine cycle that will be h1 minus h2 divided by h1 minus h4 so thank you very much if you like it then subscribe share mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials